Welcome in that video tutorial about the Golem for Katana plugin. In this video, I will show you how you can import Golem cache within Katana and render it within Arnold, Renderman, or Redshift. If you were using a previous version of Golem, you may remember that uh, you had to export an XML file and load that uh, within Katana. Now, within Golem 7.2, we've been changing that way and try to make it, uh, make it more consistent with the other DCC we support. So now you can use the simulation cache library. I'm um, running Golem 7.2 and I've been just exporting one of the scenes from our uh, character pack. So that's the locomotion scene with characters hanging around. And um, within that scene, I'm having the cache proxy node, which retain all information about where has been uh, that uh, cache been exported and is the one handling the display of these. So whenever you export a new cache, so uh, that's going to be the directory where I exported my cache within that directory. If we take a look, uh, it now exports a GSCB file and the GSCB, which is here, so I'm having all my frames there. So the GSCB stands for Golem Solution Cache Library. It's a JSON file and it contains all the information about where the cache been exported. And you can actually import that into the Simulation Cache Library. But um, let's say you do some layout modifications. So uh, let's say um, we're going to... Uh, make some layout modification onto those characters. So let's bring a selector node here, uh, apply uh, that modification to all the entities, and I would like to scale them um, with a scale of two, for example. So I'm having now twice uh, bigger characters. So uh, this gets stored into a, a layout file now, and uh, that layout file is now a new attribute of my simulation cache library. So the GSCB file, which has been exported along with the cache, uh, does not have the information of that layout. So if you do some layout modification within Maya, let's say that, um, you may want to uh, save those within your library, make a new uh, item uh, in your library, new vignette. So um, just select a nice viewpoint that you like and press on that button here that just creates maybe just uh, uh, remove the selection. I'm gonna just click here. Um, remove this and retry it without the green outline. So now I made a new preset and I can save that uh, into my library. So if I go into Katana now and I use the 7.2 uh, plugin, uh, you can go into the Katana shelf, main shelf, and uh, you can uh, check different stuff. You can check which version of uh, going for Katana you're using. You can open uh, the simulation cache library here and uh, you can uh, now open the same file that's the one you'll be saving within uh, your scene. So that's going to be uh, Golem 7.2. Open that one here. And when you click on this, it just creates now a new Golem cache node, which has the exact same information than the one you've been storing into Mario. So now you're having your node which can be displayed as a bounding box. So the first frame is never exported. So you need to change the frame here. So you can see here uh, the, the bounding box for the global crowd. And you can see the scale for every single characters. And uh, those gets animated when you move the camera. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you create a, you know, uh, just a camera and, uh, and uh, a gather tree node uh, and merge those, you'll have your crowds being rendered. So in this video, I'm not going to speak about shading assignment. There are some other tutorials, uh, video tutorials, which show you uh, how you can do that for Arnold, uh, Redshift, and Renderman. Uh, the just uh, the last thing I wanted to show you is that now within uh, Katana, you also have access to the layout tool, which means that you can open your layout file uh, that you just saved. So with my scaling here, and uh, at any time, you can just change uh, which part of the graph you want to evaluate. So this is, you can say, this, I want to set this as root, and you want to save that. And uh, the next time you're going to reevaluate your cache, you can see that this is taken into account and get refreshed. Um, just a side note, to be able to use that layout tool, you need to have a layout license. So you can use the Katana plugin without any license if you want, just by loading the library. But anytime you want to open the layout tools, which can be within Katana, Houdini, Unreal, you actually need to have a layout license uh, and the layout license gets installed the same way and you can actually see uh, which license uh, you're running by using the Abbott window. So um, I hope that's, uh, that's helpful and uh, see you into the next video.